Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 28th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. The surface map this morning shows that uh, we still have high pressure over the southeastern U.S., but we're coming under the influence of the surface low developing in the Gulf of Mexico. That surface low, thanks to a strong trough coming out of northern Mexico across Texas today, and uh, that is spreading a good deal of moisture across the southeastern U.S. And I must admit, the uh, moisture being spread a little bit faster. I thought most of the morning would be dry, but it looks like uh, we're going to be wet over much of central Alabama by the time the uh, noon hour arrives. Temperatures across the country fairly chilly, which is not to be unexpected here as we head into the very last part of December. Across the southeastern U.S. and central Alabama, we're generally in the mid and lower 40s for most locations, a little bit chillier with upper 30s in the Tennessee River Valley. Looks like temperatures are not going to climb a great deal today with clouds and rain. Speaking of rain, the rain covering a large part of the uh, southeastern U.S. from the southeast Texas coast across much of southern and southeastern Louisiana and southwestern Alabama and southern Mississippi. So the rain just going to be spreading across the area. Not too much in the way of advisories or watches around. Uh, we do have a few winter weather type events up over uh, the north central part of the United States and then the green area you see in Georgia is a flash flood watch. Rainfall wise, we're expecting uh, pretty widespread one to two inch amounts uh, with heavier amounts in the area along the track of the low, uh, generally across the southeast quadrant of the state of Alabama, generally uh, sort of between Clanton and Troy where they may see two to three inches and uh, may be some isolated flooding issues. Uh, thunderstorms are a possibility across uh, North Florida generally and the southern uh, half of Georgia. Uh, no specific areas for a slight risk, but we could see some approach uh, the marginally severe category. All right, the 06 EGFS model run, and uh, there's a look at the rain shield spreading in ahead of the uh, and with the low developing in the Gulf and then the closed low coming out of northern Mexico and coming across Texas today. By tomorrow, that uh, closed low has become an open wave as it's approaching the mid-Atlantic states. And at the surface, we see that uh, well-developed surface low has reached the coastal area of Virginia. And by noontime, I think that uh, the rain will be ending across much of central and north Alabama. We may get a little wraparound moisture with the clouds uh, in the afternoon and see some more sprinkles. There's another uh, uh, short wave dropping into the long wave trough position on Monday, so that brings in another shot of cold air. You can see the 540 line dipping down into northern Louisiana, so another shot of cold air. So Monday's going to be another one of those uh, kind of raw days where we don't get out of the 40s. The pattern flattens just a little bit on Tuesday, uh, enough that I think we'll probably get up into the lower 50s and uh, we stay dry. And then Wednesday, we see another short wave coming through the flow and uh, that bringing another reinforcing shot of cold air and potential for at least some showers. Now, this is where things get a little dicey when it comes to the various uh, model runs because the European at this same time is uh, certainly uh, much wetter as uh, we see from uh, the uh, surface map generated by the European. So right now, I'm kind of thinking that the GFS may have a little better handle on this than the European, but uh, time will tell anyway. The uh, trough, uh, the long wave trough sharpens up just a little bit with all of these disturbances moving through the flow. So we see a rather chilly uh, 2nd of January with uh, the 540 line coming down into the vicinity of Birmingham. We... Uh, See the long wave trough uh, kind of migrate a little further east on Friday, and then on Saturday, we've got another one dropping in, and that one probably is going to come through with a little bit more moisture as it looks like the Gulf will open up. We'll probably be dry a week from today, but it looks like another wet day for uh, Sunday. Uh, a week from tomorrow. So a nice continuation of a very active weather pattern. Looking out into voodoo country, yesterday we saw the GFS make um, kind of a, a flip 
in the the overall pattern, going from a general troughiness in the eastern half of the country to uh, more of a ridge pattern. That trend is still with us. Here is the 6th of January, and it's showing a, a deep trough over the southwest U.S., while we have a fairly strong ridge over the eastern half of the country. But because the long wave trough position is uh, coming back, it looks like the cold weather will be back uh, in good force between about the 10th and 12th of uh, January. So don't get out the Bermuda shorts just yet. Uh, the warm pattern as we get into the first few days of January will be fairly short-lived. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I'll have the next one posted by 8 a.m. or so on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you can stay dry, stay warm, and have a good day. Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>